Hey, Ben Kaiser here, and you want to know, is Adobe InDesign easy to use? And if so, how do I use it correctly? Thanks for tuning in today to this episode of Adobe InDesign. Adobe InDesign is a powerful tool, and it is easy to use, but the key is knowing how to use it correctly. I find a lot of new graphic designers are using the programs incorrectly. They have Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign all in front of them, but they don't quite know what the correct application for each one of those programs is. So let's jump into Adobe InDesign. Adobe InDesign is like the package delivery system for Photoshop and Illustrator. Basically think about it this way. You're gonna create business cards, brochures, catalogs, magazines, portfolios, anything that carries the individual pieces of art that you've created in Illustrator, or maybe you've edited images or done a digital painting in Photoshop, you're gonna bring those into InDesign, you're gonna add text columns, place your pictures, organize your content, and then you're gonna deliver that to the printer or to the digital format. And InDesign has all the right tools to make that the most accurate and easy presentation as possible. So to recap, Photoshop is used for photo editing and digital painting, whereas Illustrator is used for creating vector illustrations and logo design. But we'll get to more on those in the episodes concerning Photoshop and Illustrator. The key to using InDesign correctly is to take advantage of the layout tricks, text editing capabilities, and the formatting tools in order to create the best possible presentation for your work. The features found in InDesign will not be in Illustrator or Photoshop, which is why you have to use InDesign for all your deliverables. And when I say deliverables, magazines, brochures, business cards, etc. Thanks for tuning in for a quick lowdown on InDesign. If you want to follow along with our tutorials on how to get a full grasp on Adobe InDesign, check out the link below or hit the card here and we'll get you learning InDesign like a pro. Now I know you want to join the tribe of creatives who are getting educated, motivated, and deregulated for all that comes their way in the future. So hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you here on the next episode.